Good evening, Manuel. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, how are you? I thank you. Okay, nice. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? My day. Was it good? So so. It was fine. It was excellent. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Um, what did you do today? Did you work? ¿Qué hizo ahora? ¿Trabajó? Sí, trabajé. Okay. Estuve repasando ahí parte de la plataforma también unos oh. ejercicios. Ok, excellent. Uh, tell me about it. What section are you in? ¿En qué sección va? Ya terminé toda la plataforma, pero hay algunos temas que me estoy viendo, lo estoy analizando porque están algo difícil. Oh, ok. All right. Si tiene alguna consulta, pues con gusto la, la resolvemos. Ok, okay. thank you. Ok. Let's see, Edilia Roxana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Edith? Uh, fine. Okay, sounds well. And how was your day? Um, uh, I was busy. Oh, okay. And what did you do? Oh, I have to feel my my feet and, and make uh, food and I did the cleaning and a lot of things. Okay, so you stayed home today? Yes. Oh, yes. you did. Okay. All I right. did the laundry, all of those things. Wow, a lot yes. of housework. <laughs> yes, yes. Because oh, that is busy. very tidying. Okay. Yes. All right, so it's good. Today, and... is the, today is the last class. Yes, the last class before vacation. Uh, That's and right. then we are, going and to then, a, we are going to have a pause for one week. Next week, we are not having classes. And then oh. we come back on Monday. And let's see, it's Monday the 9th. Uh, okay. Yes. That's how it goes. Okay, thank you. All right, and how are you doing with the platform, Edilia? Uh, it's done. I oh, you're done, okay. Yes, and I could see my degree. <laughs> Got it, okay. Yes. All right, great, congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, Karen Lisbeth. Oh, excuse me, Lisbeth. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. It sounds great. And how about your day? How was it? Oh, um, good. It was good. All right. Sounds nice. And the platform, Karen, have you finished? Uh, I'm no teacher. Not yet. Okay. What section are you in? Um, section five. You're in section five. All right. Okay. That's great. You're doing pretty well. Bye. Norman Rivera, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? What? How's everything? How are you? Yes, yeah, I, I fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. 
And how was your day, mister? Oh, very good, very good working. Okay. Working. All right, Anymore. what do you what yes. do you do, Norman? Um, I am quality auditor. Oh, I think you had told me, right? You had told me before, okay. All right, nice. In yes. the platform? Before I tell you. Mm. I, and I, I follow in the middle, section four. You're in section four, okay. All right, that's fine. Yes. Great. Walter René, good okay. evening. Hi, I couldn't hear you. Can you check your microphone? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, nice. How was your day? Uh, with a lot to work, but fine. All right, it was a busy day. And how about the platform, Walter? Did you have time to work on it? Uh, I finished the section four and okay. I go to section five. All right, nice. You're in the last section already, cool. Yes. Okay, let me see Dagoberto Rodriguez. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Miss. Hi, how are you? How's everything? Um, fine, thanks. Okay, nice. How was your day, mister? Um, it's, uh, it's okay. It was okay. All right. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Dagoberto, what section are you in? I'm going for point twenty lesson. Okay, good. You're almost done with lesson four and getting to the last lesson, last section. Okay. Nice. And Alicet, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It's fine. Okay, great. How was your day? I'm work working here, um, and then work in the platform. Oh, I'm okay. finished. You finished. Congratulations. Very yes. nice. Okay. Thank you. Very well. All right. So I think um, we may start. See, welcome everybody and good evening to everyone. Let me get my presentation here. Okay, just give me a second, please. Here we go. Okay, so welcome everyone to our class number 10. And let's see, we are going to talk about a demonstratives and comparative adjectives today. So let's start by making a review of what we studied yesterday, which was the prepositions of times or the time expressions, right? We had in and a, remember that we use in for introducing months. For example, when we say in May, in March, or in April, then we have years. We say in 2019, in 1995, in 1845. We also use in for introducing the most of the parts of the day. For example, when we say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. 
So those are the uses, right? We also use in for centuries and long period of time. As when we say in the past century, in the winter, in the past. So those are the four uses for in months, years, parts of the day, and centuries or long period periods of time. Then um, our next time expression is on. We use on for introducing days, days of the week, on Sunday, on Monday, on Thursday. Or we use it for introducing dates as well. On December 27th, on February 19th, on November 13th. On is for days and dates. Then we have at. The time expression at is used for introducing precise time, exact clock time at 4.45 a.m., at three o'clock, at 2.25 in the afternoon. Those are the uses. Now, uh, we solved some practice yesterday and we need to check it, right? So let's see, help me with this. We have a um, exercise one circle, the correct phrase. Teacher. Tell me. I have a question. Okay. Uh, uh, you can use at uh, for Christmas uh, date, no. At Christmas, well, normally we say on Christmas. But yes, I oh. have here, yes, normally we say on, but I have here at Christmas. Um, it is less common, I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. On Christmas. Yes, on Christmas. Okay, you. you're welcome. So let's see, uh, number one, we have in Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday. Which one is correct? On Sunday. Um, yes, we say on Sunday. On Sunday. Or two, on the evening, in the evening, or at the evening. In the evening. In the evening. That's in right. In the evening. We say in the evening. Number three. On night, in night, or at night? At, at night. night. At. Yes, we use at with this part of the day, at night. Number four, on the weekend, in the weekend, or at the weekend? At the weekend. weekend. In the weekend. Okay, so here weekend. we have two correct mm. options. We could say on the weekend, or we could say at the weekend. At the weekend. Yes, and for American English, we usually use on the weekend. And then British English prefers at the weekend. So both of them are correct. We could say on the weekend or at the weekend. Number five, on the afternoon, in the afternoon, or at the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes, we use in with parts of the day. Number six, on Monday morning, in Monday morning, or at Monday morning? Oh, Monday morning. On Monday morning. On, yes. Remember that we use oh, on with days morning. of the week. On Monday morning. Number seven, on five, on five to 12, in five to 12, or at five to 12? At, 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 at five. five. For clock time, we always use at. Number eight, on February, in February, or at February? In February. That's right, we say in February. Number nine, on 2018, in 2018, or at 2018? In. 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 In 2018. Number 10, on 8th March, in 8th March, at 8th March. Which one? On on March. On, on, we'll on. on 8th March. Let me explain something here. So you see that we use in for months and also for years, right? So we would say, for example, my birthday. Let me make this smaller. Okay, so I would say my birthday is in March. 
And then I say the date. So that would be my birthday. Is on March, um, let's say 12th. So you see the difference when I mention only the month, I would, I would use in, in March. My birthday is in March. But when I say the date, I say on March 12th. So that would be something that we need to take into account. Let's continue. Number 11, on Christmas day, in Christmas day, or at Christmas day? Which on one? Christmas. On Christmas. Yes, we say on, on Christmas, Christmas day. And the last one, on, on winter, Christmas. in winter, or at winter? In winter. In winter. In winter. Yes, in winter. because we are referring to a period of time, right? That didn't work. I would say in winter. Okay, very well. Now, uh, do you have any doubts? Any questions? No? Okay, let's continue. And in exercise number two, you had to write in, on, or at. So help me with the answers. Number one, can you come? On Monday. On Monday. That's correct. Number two, it rains a lot. In winter. In winter. In winter. Three, my birthday is? On. Oh. On the sixth on the, on on the the six. Six of May. Mm -hmm. Number four, I usually get I up. Get up. At half past eight. At, yes. at half, at past eight. half past eight. Number five, I will meet here in two months. In two months. Number six, we usually have lunch at one. At one. At one. Mm -hmm. Number seven, we got English. On Thursday. On Thursday. On Thursday. On Thursday. Thursday. Eight, my grandfather died. In. In. In 1987. Number nine says Paul isn't here. The moment. On the moment. Which one? In, on, or at? At the moment. At. That's correct. We say at the moment. Number 10, I'll be back. 10 minutes. At. at in. Ten. In. In 10 minutes. 11, I'm going to Italy. In, on, or at? At a week. In. Yeah. in a week. I'm going to Italy in a week. And in the last one, come and see us. On Christmas Day. Okay, very well. You say on Christmas Day, day in a week, in 10 minutes. Tell me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have to uh, the, the the last three number. Okay. Uh, I I understand the on is used in the o'clock, and you and you time um, determine. If ten minutes is no is is not up. Uh, no, that would be a period of time. Ten minutes. A period of uh -huh. time, so we uh -huh. refer to it using in, in 10 minutes. Mm. It is not clock time, no sería clock time, sino un periodo de tiempo. That's why. Ah, eh, ajá, pero en el periodo de tiempo no se usa. And the periods of time go with in. Sí. No, no se al igual que en week, no se, no es igual que eh, como que estuviera diciendo día de la semana. On Thursday, on mm, week, no. on in that case, May, 
No, in that case, again, we're talking about a period of time. Igual lo consideraríamos como un periodo de tiempo. A week, a period of, a period of time. Yes. No sé. Uh -huh. caso para, para la número uno. Excuse me? No sé. eh, un, momen, un momento no es un periodo de tiempo. Y eh, sí, pero este no, sí no, es no. una expresión ya dada. At the moment es una expresión ya dada. No es eh, como las otras que tenemos una pauta. Esta sí, siempre la utilizamos así. That's how it goes. No, no, se, no es ahí en in the moment. No. No, no, we say at the moment. At the moment, because um, um, yeah, kind of, because we're saying uh, that specific moment. So, yeah, we could consider it like precise time if you want to see it that way. It's fine. So, yeah, mm -hmm. like, because it would be in este momento. Sí, exacto, más o menos en ese sentido. Y tenemos algunas expresiones que ya están dadas, ¿verdad? Como at night. Eh, o por ejemplo, in the evening, in the uh -huh. afternoon, in the, esas que están dadas. En the number 12 uh -huh. is similar al the number 2. In winter is no in Christmas. Mm, no, we would say on because we're referring to Christmas Day. On Christmas. And yeah, we, we normally say on Christmas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Are we Thank clear you. now? Okay, you're welcome. All right, let's continue by talking about our next lesson objective. So by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, and those to express possible choices. Let's see what we get. Let's listen to the conversation on a on video 3.1. Let me go to the platform. Okay, the conversation is titled, They're Perfect for You. Let's watch the video. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so that Happy is the birthday. conversation. Let's uh, practice it. Do I have any volunteers to read it? No? Volunteers? Okay. Hector José, 
and who wants to read? Okay, you yeah. may go ahead. Who's that? <laughs> Excuse me. I start. Okay, so that I will be start. Hector Jose and who else? Who's reading with with Hector? Quién va a leer con Hector? Okay, all right, go ahead. Okay, Anna, thank you. Oh, you may look start at Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is, isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there, how much is it? It's 42 times expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. Now let me ask another pair to read. Uh, that would be, how about Cindy Janet? And Edwin Gustavo, go ahead. Okay. All right, Edwin, you start. Edwin Gustavo, are you there? Yes, I am start. Okay. Go ahead, Edwin. Oh, look at the eating, Maria. They're perfect for you. This weed one, I'm not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, these? Mm, yellow, it's in really a good color for me. Well, that neck, necklace is bad. Which ones? That's blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That is expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Great. And let me see one more pair that would be Karen Lisset and Josue Naun. Go ahead. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. This red one, I'm not sure. Oh, yellow ones. Oh, this, mm, yellow? Isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right here. How much is it? It's forty-two dollar. That's expensive. Hey. Let me eat for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, Thank very so well. Much, baby. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Josue and Karen. Now I need everyone to repeat, please. Those. 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 Earrings. 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 There. 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 These. These. Sure. 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 
really color necklace right there right there right there right there expensive 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 get 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 birthday present birthday present happy birthday happy birthday birthday Okay, good. So you see how we use demonstratives in this conversation. We have those earrings. Uh, as you see here in the picture, we have the man step saying those earrings. Oh, look at those earrings, right? Then Maria answers these red ones. She's touching them, right? These red ones. Then um, we also have they're talking about the yellow ones. Oh, these, Maria is closer to them. And uh, let's see, do we have another example? Yeah, they mentioned the necklace as well. It says that, that necklace isn't bad, that necklace. And then uh, Maria answers the, oh, let's see which one we have, that blue one right there, that blue one right there, right? Because a um, step is farther to the things than Maria is. Maria is closer. That's why they are using different um, different demonstrative pronouns. So let's take a look at the video that explains this, and then we're going to discuss it. Let's talk about demonstratives and the use of one and one. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives 1 ones how much is this necklace how much is this one how much is that necklace how much is that one which one the blue one it's 42 dollars how much are these earrings how much are these how much are those earrings how much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. 
Yes, it is. The okay, so that is what we have for demonstratives. Let me... Here, we have four of them. We have this, these, that, and those. The first one, this, is for talking about something that is near to us. For example, if I have the cell phone with me, it's pretty near to me. So I could say this cell phone is mine. This cell phone is mine, right? Then if the cell phone is far from me, if I cannot even touch it, or I mean, it's not close anymore, it's far, I would use that. That cell phone is yours, for instance. That cell phone is yours. Then those two are singular. Then we need to use the verb be, the, the form is with them, right? This is, that is, right? Then these would be the plural form that we use for things that are near to us. For example, I would say these cups are green. These cups are green. If I I'm near to the cups. If the cups are far from me, then I would say those cups are nice. Those cups are nice. So you see, it all depends on how far we are from something, on the distance that it takes from us. And a, remember, we have this for singular in something that is near, these for plural, something that is near again. And that would be for something that is singular and far away. Those is the plural form for things that are far, right? So that's how they go. And then it also mentions the use of one, one and ones. We use one and ones whenever we're talking about choice, right? And for example, here we have a, is that your car? Which one? So it means there are many cars, right? then you must say like, which one, the red one or the blue one, the red one, you get a choice, right? And that's how we use, we use one for singulars and ones for plurals, of course. So for example, we could change the conversation to, are those your, let's say, are those your earrings? Which ones? Oh, the blue ones, for instance. Yes, they are. So that's how they go. One is for only one thing, singular, and the plural would be once. Any questions about this? Any doubts? No? Okay, let's move on. Now that we have talked about demonstratives, uh, we can go to the next uh, topic, which is illustrated by conversation 3.8. That is about um, comparative adjectives. So let me go there. It is called, which one do you prefer? Let's watch the video. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well... I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. Okay. You're welcome. No. OK, 
Okay, so that is the conversation. Here we see how they use a comparative adjectives, right? They say it looks warmer, or so it's more stylish than the wool one. And I believe there's another one. No, that's pretty much it. And they also talk about preference, right? Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. And um, that's how it goes, right? Now let's practice a conversation. I need uh, all women to read for Anne and men read for Sue. And I'm going to read for Clark, okay? So women read for Anne, men for Sue. And a teacher reads for clerk. Let's start at one, two, three. Go. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Men? Okay, again. I like the world on better. The woman, why? It's lags warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, mm, no There's no price, price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, <laughs> oh, no. that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, expensive. very good. Yeah, right. It's too expensive. Okay, so now that we have practiced the conversation, let's talk about the comparatives. How do we compare? As I mentioned, here we have uh, some examples. They work more, we say more stylish. Okay, I'm muting. All right, so let's talk about the rules for making comparative adjectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. So let me go on. Okay, for making the comparative form of adjectives, we have some different rules. The general rule says that we have to add ER to the form of the adjectives. For example, we would say for one syllable adjectives, we add ER. As when we say strong, the comparative would be stronger, strong, stronger. Then another rule that we must take into account is that when we're talking about one syllable uh, adjectives that go in the combination consonant, vowel, consonant, We must add ER, but we also double the first, the consonant. So double the consonant. And add ER. An example would be big. In the case of big, we double the last consonant and it becomes bigger. Right, so let me get a different color here. There we go. Okay. Another rule would be for the verbs that end in E. What happens with those? In that case, we only add R, right? For example, when we say large, Larger, large, larger. And then our next rule talks about the adjectives that end in Y. 
what happens there. Let me get we drop the Y. And we add IER instead. How come? We have, for example, happy. And the comparative would be happier, like this. You see, we do not use a Y anymore. We change it for an I. Then uh, for two syllable adjectives, we would do the following. We can use the word more, or we can also add ER. For example, with the adjective gentle. Gentle, we could say gentler. Or we could also say more gentle. And then for three syllable adjectives, for longer adjectives, we always add more. For example, expensive. It becomes more expensive. So those are the rules. Um, well, so generally for the most of the of the short adjectives, we add ER, right? And then for longer adjectives, we add more just before the adjective. We get more gentle, more expensive, and a, that will be it, right? Any questions about the rules? Or ready to continue? Then another thing, thing we must mention is that we have some irregular adjectives or some irregular comparatives, which are, for example, good. Do you know the comparative for good? Teacher. Tell me. Yes. Uh, how about the for expensive? Too expensive. T O O. Um, well, that would be a form of an intensifier. It is not a comparative. It's just to intensify, like mm. very expensive, too expensive. Yes. It is not a, a comparison, but just a saying that it is very expensive, like two is more than very. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Yes, teacher. What is the meaning? Tom. Excuse me, what's your question? Sorry. What is the meaning of gentle? Eh, amable. The word. Yes, gentle, uh, amable. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so some irregular comparative adjectives. We would have for good, we say better. We do not say gooder, right? We say better. For bad, what's the comparative? Mm -hmm. Any ideas about this one? Worse. I think. Exactly. It is worse. And another one we have is far. What is the comparative for far? Mm -hmm. Near. Near would be the opposite, right? But What's the 
Farly. We say, okay, in this case, we use farther. Farther, or you could also spell it this way. Farther. <clears throat> That's how it goes. So those would be the most common irregular comparative adjectives. Then another idea that we must keep very clear is that for making comparisons, we use the verb be, and also we add then right after the adjective. For example, when we say this cell phone is, um, let's say, better than that one. <clears throat> this cell phone is better than, better than that one. Let's <clears throat> make another example. Let's say that blouse is nicer than their, let's say, gray one. Or when we say this house is bigger than mine. So you see, we always use than right after the adjective. Better than, nicer than, bigger than. Okay, uh, any doubts? Or are we ready for the practice, I guess? What time is it? Okay. All right, here I have some practice. First thing I needed to do is to write the comparative form of the adjectives. Here we have a list of adjectives. We must complete by adding the comparative form. For example, what's the comparative for new? Newer. Newer, that's right. That is what you have to do with all of them. Then the next exercise is for you to make sentences using comparatives. We have, for example, cars, bicycles, and the adjective fast. Make a sentence, please. Can you make a sentence? Cars are faster than bicycles. Exactly, we would say cars are faster than bicycles. Okay, so I'm sending you to the breakout rooms now for you to practice and then we're coming back to check. I'll send you the exercises to the WhatsApp group as we always do. Okay, here we go. Ya nos envió las capturas. Las... Okay, did you get the exercises? Yes. Okay. Fine. Es como de ir haciendo el verbo, verdad? 
en el comparativo. Sí, el, el comparativo. Ah, La segunda sería... Sí, el segundo es longer. Cuando termina en vocal solo se le agrega R, ¿verdad? Cuando eh, termina sin I, solo cuando termina en E. So, uh, uh -huh. Si le agrega R. Yes, you only need the R. Expensive mm -hmm. sería. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, we have a longer adjective. So, what's the rule for three syllable adjectives? Mm -hmm. We do not say mm -hmm. expensive, we say. More expensive. En el caso de los adjetivos que son más largos, específicamente los de Largos. dos o tres sílabas, vamos a agregar more. Mm -hmm. More expensive. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so more. Yes, we add more. Okay. Ah. Y... Pero ya no se le agrega la R. No, you do not change it. Ahí ya no lo cambiamos. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Big. Big. Bigger. Is bigger. Mm -hmm. Bigger with double G. Con doble G. With mm -hmm. double G. Mm -hmm. Bigger. The a small. This is double G consonant. Um, yes, it already mm -hmm. takes double L, so you only have to add ER. Mole. Mole. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. Ah, uh, pero si cambiaba. Eh, no me acuerdo. Good era better. Better, uh -huh. ah, sí. <coughs> Bad. Newer. 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 Uh -huh. Newer. 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 Se le agrega el er, er. E er, ajá. Ya. ya, ya o sea, sí, pero no. en ese caso es eh, porque es one syllable. O sea, es una sílaba. New es una sílaba, sí. entonces usted va a hacerlo con agregarle er. Uh -huh. eh, sí, como en la ¿sí? siguiente. Que es siguiente. longer. longer. Chivo, chivo, gracias. Pero tiene que seguir las reglas, las reglas que nos dio ella. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Pero gracias. tal vez en el ejercicio lo vea mejor. Sí, sí, gracias. ¿Y el otro? Y la otra pantalla. Okay. The number one. Okay. Car. 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 Faster. Faster. Bicycle. Bicycle. Than bicycles. 
Okay. Number two. Number two. Um, elephants. In this case, heavy. Heavy. Uh -huh. It is the rule. Uh, heavier. Heavier. Yes, because uh, si termina en y, uh, tiene que agregar i e r. Ah, okay. Se agrega y no no se sustituye sustituye la y. Ajá, o sea, se sustituye. Javier. 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 R. Dan. 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 Okay. Dan. Dan. Javier. Dan. 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 Number three. Brother. More handsome. Than me. My brother is more handsome than than you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Number four. Uh -huh. Number four. Uh -huh. Mount, 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 Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Everest. Uh -huh. Higher. Is higher. Higher. Mount Blanc. Mount Blanc. Yes. Number five. Snakes. Snakes. Longer. Are longer. Worms. Worms. Number six. Ferrari. 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 Ferrari is colder than June. Number seven. Chinese. Chinese. Is more, more difficult. difficult. Uh huh. Then than Portuguese. Portuguese. Number eight. I. I. Younger. I am. I am. Younger. Younger, my father. Yes, I Younger than my parents. Number nine. Number nine. Mm -hmm. My pencil. Shorter. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero ahí sería. Pero ahí sería. I am younger than my parents. My parents. That's Yo correct. soy más joven que mi padre. Huh? Thank uh, you. Yeah, uh, younger ya yes, yes, está puesto en. en ah, comparación. pero le tienes que poner a young, younger, uh, I am. than my parents. It's when my pencil is shorter than yours. Uh, beautiful, beautiful is prettier than bird. Rhino is bigger than zebra. Mm. Carlos, ¿o quién sí? <laughs> Parrot is noisier than canary. Very well, you're done. So we're coming back mm -hmm. right now. You got the uh, 60 okay. seconds. Mm
Okay, um, today's class is over. And let me just remind you that this is our last class before the pause. So next week we do not have classes, right? Because of the Fiestas Agostinas. So we are free next week and we come back to classes on Monday the 9th, Monday, August the 9th. Okay. Recordemos que volvemos el lunes 9 de agosto y pues en ese tiempo yo les aconsejo y les animo a que trabajemos en plataforma, que podamos avanzar. Sé que varios ya completaron, los que no, pues animarles a que sigan trabajando, a que sigan practicando. Y bueno, nos seguimos comunicando ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si necesitan apoyo para avanzar con los ejercicios, I'm there. And that will be all. Have a nice vacation. Take care and see you soon. Good night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Good night, everyone.